Look at the bar, the big barrow pit here. Yeah, very interesting sight. You can see here behind me this barrow pit. And this is possibly an area where they dug up to make this mound. The surrounding formations you can see right here is quite large. Okay. And actually you can see a lot of shells here. So it's part of a shell midden. But we were also talking about that this also may be part of a burial mound as well. So these mounds were used for various purposes over the generations. Really nice being out here. So peaceful. Takes you back to another time. And right here along the edge of the mound is this area by the river. And natives would live out here because this is a valuable resource for all these waterways out here. You come out here fishing. A shellfish, a mussel, and a aquatic snail. Large part of their diet. Yeah, and you, you can see the mound formation here. And these mounds had different purposes, of course. Very interesting here on the surface of the mound, seeing various pottery fragments, bones, turtle shells, and the textures are fascinating. They vary. You can see the different kinds here if you look closely. Now these textures represent different cultures. Well, some of it is linear check stamp. Some of it is um, St. John's check stamped. There's some plain type in there. You got turtle shell. Some of it appears to be soft shell, and some of it looks more, this piece here looks like a big old river cooter, or Florida cooter. And that looks like a punctated there, or punctate texture. We'll have to look them up when I get home. Some more check stamped. That one has a little incised mark on it there. Let's see some turtle shell. It looks to be a, either part of a turtle shell or a fish bone, like a bow fin or a gar. Kind of plain type there. Look at all the shell refuse here mussel and aquatic Incredible. snail. Incredible. On our way to another possible site. We're in a pine flatwoods here. Got a lot of slash pine and uh, cabbage palm, saw palmetto. We found another mound out here. It's overgrown. You can see all the shells laying on the ground here. See the freshwater snail deposits. Pretty cool. It must have been a, just another area where they're living here. Yeah, a place of activities. We're seeing a lot of these shell deposits throughout the and area here. This one's probably a quarter mile from the other one. Might have been part of the same complex, actually. That's what I'm thinking. 